CNN is beyond fake news. It is deliberate, malicious, calculated partisan propaganda. There I said it. Ow. Viva Fry, Montreal litigator turned YouTuber, and for those of you who are familiar with my channel, you know that every Sunday night I do live streams with world-renowned civil rights attorney Robert Barnes. We do live streams where we break down and discuss legal matters, things that are going on in the world of current events. They are extremely insightful live streams, if I do say so myself, and typically I take Mondays off to publish highlights from the Sunday night live stream, but something happened during last night's live stream that deserves a vlog. An emergency vlog. <laughs> This emergency exit is painted on! During last night's live stream, we were talking about the record-setting number of executive orders that Joe Biden issued in his first week. It is over 40 executive orders issued by a president in his first week. It's a new record by any president ever in the history of the United States of America. And as we were discussing this record-setting number of executive orders, Robert Barnes mentioned something that Joe Biden said during his campaign, that any president that needs to rule via executive order is a dictator. It also reminded everybody what Biden said during the campaign, which he's, he said a president who rules by executive orders is a dictator. And then he just set a record for the number of executive orders by any president in a record set of time. <laughs> Now, because I fact check everybody, even people I like, respect, and trust, it is very important to trust but verify, I had to go out and fact check that statement just to make sure that Joe Biden actually said something along those lines, given his conduct in his first week as president. And in the context of my research, I found an article written by CNN that was a purported fact checking saying that no, Joe Biden didn't say that. Facts first. <laughs> Excuse me, I may have just thrown up in my mouth a little bit there. You know it is going to be a wonderful fact check when a CNN fact check starts off with the words facts first. Fact check. No, Biden didn't say that signing lots of executive orders makes you a dictator. By Daniel Dale, CNN. For those of you who may not have the good fortune of following Daniel Dale on Twitter, or for those of you who may not know who Daniel Dale is, Daniel Dale is a self-proclaimed fact checker at CNN. Daniel Dale, at ddale8, reporter for CNN, fact checking the president and other politicians. So Daniel Dale is a self-proclaimed fact checker for CNN, and CNN is the self-proclaimed most trusted name in news. This is CNN, the most trusted name in news. What a load of shit. And the self-proclaimed fact checker from the most trusted name in news says, no, Joe Biden did not say that signing lots of executive orders makes you a dictator. I've said it before and I will say it again. In my humble experience, when anyone starts off an answer with yes or no, followed by an affirmation as in no, that did not happen, they are getting ready to mislead you. They are almost shaming you for having asked the question in the first place. Now, while I can recognize that this might be my own bias heading into this article, when I am reading the headline written by fact checker Daniel Dale saying, no, Joe Biden did not say this, I am immediately starting with the reflex that yes, he did in fact say this. I start with that reflex because I know how fake news propaganda works. They start with a headline that is totally contradicted by the body of the article, knowing that nobody's going to read the article. They're just going to go read the headline and go on with their day. Good. No, Joe Biden did not say that. I may be wrong. Perhaps after reading through this article, I will in fact be convinced that Joe Biden did not in fact say this. I will play you a clip at the end of this video so you can come to your own conclusions, but let's just go read through this article, shall we? Washington, CNN. President Joe Biden has signed more than 35 executive orders, actions, and memorandum in his first week and a half in the Oval Office. And some of Biden's critics are saying or suggesting that his frequent early use of the presidential pen contradicts a dramatic statement he made on the campaign trail in October. Now, from what I understand, apparently Joe Biden in fact signed more than 40 executive orders. Now, in fairness, maybe at the time of writing this article, it was only 35, but notice how the fact checker Daniel Dale mentions this large number without actually specifying that it is a record for a president. The fact checker omits to mention the fact that this is in fact a record for any president and then further goes on to minimize what is being done by referring to it as the frequent use of the presidential pen. What a wonderful sugar-coated euphemism when referring to record-setting use of executive orders in his first week in office. Omission of material facts and reduction of a negative fact to acute little euphemism we know we are about to get lied to here. Getting to the second paragraph for anyone who has gotten past the headline and past the first paragraph, now the fact checker does in fact mention the record-setting number of executive orders signed by Joe Biden, but does so in a manner that lets you think it is actually a matter of opinion 
opinion and not a matter of fact. Quote, Biden signed off on a record number of executive orders during his first week, but just three months ago, according to Biden himself, that's something only a dictator would do. End quote. Fox News host Sean Hannity said on air Tuesday, you can see here that the fact checker is framing this matter of fact that it was in fact a record setting number of executive orders signed by a president. He's framing that fact as though it is a matter of Hannity's opinion. And then he proceeds to do the same thing as though it's a matter of Mitch McConnell's opinion in the following paragraph. As recently as October, now President Biden said you can't legislate by executive action unless you're a dictator. Well, in one week, he signed more than 30 unilateral actions and working Americans are getting short shrift, end quote. Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell said Thursday in the Senate. But moving right along to the facts first, because facts do matter to the most trusted name in news when fact-checking the president, this is where it moves into the level of Olympic-grade mental gymnastics. Facts first. These Biden critics are taking his, quote, dictator remark out of context. Biden explicitly campaigned on signing various executive orders, including those to rescind some of then-President Donald Trump's own executive orders. And he didn't say in October that signing a large number of orders meant a president is a dictator. Now, Daniel Dale may be a self-proclaimed fact-checker, but I think he could use an editor here because this is one heck of a run-on sentence that has way too many ideas in it for one sentence. It has at least three distinct ideas in it, and this is what I like to say, confuse and conquer, make something so complicated, throw in as many facts as possible so people don't know what to focus on. But just appreciate the beginning of the logic here that Biden is not a hypocrite or he has not become the dictator that he warned the world about because he campaigned on signing these executive orders. And don't worry, according to fact checker Daniel Dale, Biden did not say that signing lots of executive orders makes you a dictator. You have to appreciate the context. Rather, after Biden rejected the idea of using an executive order to raise taxes on corporations and wealthy people, he said there are, quote, things you can't do by executive order unless you're a dictator, end quote. In other words, Biden was saying what he had said before and has said since, that executive orders are unconstitutional for some particular purposes. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. This is top shelf mental gymnastics. Where in the quote that Daniel Dale attributed to Joe Biden did he even use the word unconstitutional? There is a very big difference between appreciating the context in which a statement was made and reading into that statement words that were not even included in that statement. And we have just gone from fact checking to interpretation to outright cheerleading. Daniel Dale is going to have to change his title from presidential fact checker to presidential cheerleader. In an email McConnell spoke Spokesman David Pop forcefully rejected CNN's conclusion that McConnell had inaccurately characterized Biden's, quote, dictator remark. Pop said that given the full text of what Biden said in October and other campaign comments Biden made about his belief in a consensus-seeking philosophy of governing, quote, your fact check doesn't check out, end quote. We respectfully disagree. Let's go through some relevant history. The fact checkers are no longer fact checking others. They are fact checking themselves and they are confirming that they are in fact factually correct. But let's go ahead and talk about something else to distract you. Multiple Biden executive orders simply rescind policies that Trump had imposed through his own executive orders without public complaint from McConnell and other Biden critics. Confuse and conquer. Biden's executive orders only undo Trump's executive orders and nobody complained about Trump's executive orders, including the people who are now complaining about Biden's executive orders. So some people are hypocrites and Biden for some reason has not become the very dictator he warned us about because his acts of dictatorship are only to undo the acts of another dictator. What? What the f But the mental gymnastics get one step better, and I mean both legs behind your head better. And, critically, Biden promised during the campaign that he would sign significant executive orders. In fact, many of Biden's early presidency executive orders fulfill explicit campaign pledges. So following fact checker cheerleader Daniel Dale's fact check, Joe Biden has not just become the very dictator he warned us about when he said that only dictators have to rule through executive orders, he has not become that dictator because he also promised to rule through executive orders. That doesn't make sense. Joe Biden is only using a record-setting number of executive orders to unilaterally implement his campaign pledges so he has not become the very dictator that he warned us about. Okay. For example, Biden signed a series of orders aimed at combating climate change, just as his campaign climate plan, which is still on his website, said he would. On day one, Biden will sign a series of new executive orders with unprecedented reach that go well beyond the Obama-Biden administration platform and put us on the right track, end quote. Joe Biden has not become a dictator ruling by executive orders because he warned you in advance he was going to be ruling by executive orders. That seems to be the fact-checking cheerleader Daniel Dale's rationale, but in case any of you had any doubt, just listen to the clip of what Joe Biden said himself to come to your own conclusion. So there's not going to be any delay on the tax increases. No, well, I got to get the votes. 
I got to get the votes. That's why, you know, uh, the one thing that I, ha I have this strange notion, we are a democracy. Some of my Republican friends and some of my Democratic friends even occasionally say, well, if you can't get the votes by executive order, you're going to do something. Things you can't do by executive order unless you're a dictator. We're a democracy. We need consensus. Got to take a quick break. We'll be sure. right back. The bottom line, and I hate to be harsh, CNN is fake news. The fact checkers are pure propagandists. They are not out there to inform. They are out there to misinform and rely on your own ignorance to know that you have been so misinformed. And with that said, if you like my videos and you like my content, please be sure to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, drop a comment in the comment section below because it feeds the algorithm. If you want to support the channel, all of these support links are in the pinned comment, but the easiest and freest way to support the channel is just to share it around so that people know I exist. Robert Barnes and I have a page on Locals. If you want to support us there, it is vivabarneslaw.locals.com. I also post all of my content to Rumble, so if you want to check it out there, you can go ahead. It is Viva Fry, but more important than any of that, take care of yourselves, check in on friends and family, make sure everyone around you is doing well, and now you know how to read fake news. Peace out. Booyah!